What's up, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. T Money 1993, aka your boy, Straight Fact, in my week eight game against Seahawks Brasino. Um, right now, I sit at, uh, for this game, I sat at five and two, and uh, Brasino was five and one. So, uh, as you see, I'm about to get ball first. Now, for everybody who doesn't know, this is a TTC Madden League. If you're interested, let me know. Um, we're pretty much halfway through the season right now, but uh, this is updated roster. So the newest rosters that your team has, plus if you made any free agencies or trades or anything like that, um, it's all minor trades. Um, nobody, not really trading pro bowlers or nobody with stacked teams or nothing crazy like that. So we get into later in the first quarter. Um, Russell Wilson dropping back the pass. Gets blew up by uh, who was that? Mike Adams, safety, uh, signed him as a free agent. Now, of course, Seahawks, Carolina, this is a low scoring game. You're not going to see no crazy amount of points, nothing like that. It's, it's pretty similar to how they play in real life. Billy Brown back there is my part returning. Ted is hurt, I think, for one more week. So, uh, drive in the first quarter. Cam's dropping back to pass. Goes a little pass out there to Kelvin Benjamin. Kelvin Benjamin uh, had, a, had a pretty good game, man. Um, not intimidated by a lot, by LOB at all, man. I'm just play, man. I got two six foot five receivers. They can get over, they can get over. I'm willing to take them on a chance against pretty much any secondary in the league, man. Uh, it's fourth down and two now. Um, I'm on my own 47 yard line. I said, I figured the way my defense is playing at uh, midfield, even if I don't get it, I feel like we can get a stop or at least hold them to a field goal. So uh, drop back the pass, fourth and two. Ran a little curl route to Devin Funches, rookie out of Michigan. Uh, I know at any time I want, I can go at that second corner. Um, you know, Brian Maxwell, you know, a lot of them gone, about guys is gone out of LOB who uh, like to play corner. So, anytime I want to attack that opposite side of the field from Sherman, it's there. So after that, it's first and 10 on his 39-yard line. Coming up to the line of scrimmage. I went back to that other play I ran with Kelvin. Threw it to him again. He uh, carries Cam Chancellor with him. About picks up the first down. Nine-yard catch. Looking for those spots where he could catch it. And the quarterback that time threw it at the right time, right on target. Good yardage, just short of the first down. Second and short. The give. Bam. J. Stu cuts it up. First down. Moving down the field. Uh, I know that uh, uh, I know it's coming out the bat is me versus Seahawks. So any kind of points I can put in, that can be the last points that can be scored in the game. So I have to take I, when I get close to the touchdown, I know I have to put points on the board, point blank, period. Because this is Seahawks and Panthers, not going to be a lot of scoring. Jay Stu uh, gets the ball, cuts to the left, first down, moving the chains. Jay Stu is a top five back right now in the TTC Madden League. Um, he's got over 500 yards. Uh, he, he, I think he has uh, two touchdowns now. Uh, of course, Cam gets a lot of the red zone, but look at it. When you run inside, he very rarely goes down with that first hit. He also leads the league in uh, most yards after the first hit, so he's constantly running through contact. Coming up on second and three on the eight yard line. Audible to play. Want a little yeah. counter for Jay Stu. He gets popped by the corner out there. Uh, I think he just said his name was Williams. Something Williams. 
have Who's some that made that tackle, with bro? it. And if you do, most of the time you will get rewarded. That's the end of the first quarter. Now we're going into the second. And I also know that I had the ball first, so I definitely have to put up points before halftime. Third and one. I say, hey, this man's been running good all game long. Why don't I just stick with it? Third down on the way. First down, Jay Stu. You see, man, it's just running hard. Gets a five yard gain. Talk about Bobby Wagner. So now it's first and goal on the one. Um, I said, hey, man, reward the running back who's been running good, who's been balling out. And I uh, went it right up the bed again. Touchdown. Jay Stu hits his little dance. And uh, we take an early lead. The point after is Kick is good. good. Up 7 nothing on a 10-play drive. All right, now we're going to skip in the second quarter. You see Marshawn Lynch trying to run up. There's a fumble. Ball comes out. His lineman picks it up. I, I swore I could have had that, man. I, I wanted that one. The right play after, wow. Uh, looking at it again, it's still shocking. Uh, Russell Wilson <laughs> hits my dude with a nice stiff arm. Should have been a loss of yards. He ends up turning into a short little game. So now it's third and four on my seven-yard line. And I'm thinking, like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I know he's been struggling to pass the ball. But it's third and four. And uh, forget about Russ, man. Beginning of the game, he was running the ball because my defense line was getting pressure on the inside, and uh, he was breaking it out. So later on, I, I decide, hey, I'm going to quarterback contain this and just rush with my two defensive tackles because um, Starla Tutele is second in the NFL right now with 10 sacks. Uh, beats of a defensive tackle. So I know I can get pressure with just him and Kawan Short. So I sent uh, my defensive ends is Jared Allen on one side and Charles Johnson on the other. So I just start quarterback containing with them. Um, first and goal on the one. We did the same thing I did to him. Running up there with Marshawn. I even committed to the run in the middle. I mean, Marshawn, Marshawn is just a good, he's a good back. So with two minutes to go until halftime, he ties it up. Seven to seven. And the point after... Good. So I'm like, this can change the whole momentum of the game. I don't want him going into halftime with opportunity for him to take the lead after. So drop back the pass on a quick little play for Devin Funches. I know Seahawks normally likes to play back. He likes to play a lot of zones. So I know at any time that's there. So set up the player, running with Jay Stu. As always, he's picking up his yard. I just love the way Jay Stu runs, man. Second and four, running no huddle because we're in our two-minute offense. Get out there, running around with Cam. Just do it quick to get the ball out of my hands. I uh, think it was, yeah, Greg Olson with the catch. So now it's third and three. And I know I have to kind of look at the time just in case I don't get it. But I'm also excited about trying to get this first down, man. Time still running. It's 53 seconds. Run the ball with Jay Stu. As usual, he produces his yards. He's just the first down. I'm calling a timeout. Because uh, now that I have the first, I'm like, hey, back to my goal of trying to make sure we get down the field and score before halftime. Uh, I ran the ball, so just in case if I didn't get it, I could put it, and it would chew up some of the clock. Dropping back the pass. Run it out to my right. Tried to press X. 
couldn't get it out in time. But it was incomplete, which saves me time, and I didn't take a sack, so I wasn't that mad. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Browns in the slot. Second and ten. I see this. I see Cam Chancellor come up. Play action fake. KB on Richard Sherman one on one. See ya. Bingo. Touchdown. Kelvin Benjamin with a 46 yard touchdown pass. Great, great throw by Cam. Way by KB to beat the jam, get off the line. And I accomplished my goal scoring a touchdown before the end of the half. Driving extra point is good. As soon as I saw Cam come up. Yeah. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. So now the key is make sure he doesn't score in 37 seconds so that he doesn't get the ball back from him. He'll take it from the six. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Seahawks come to the line to start this drive at the 24. Big set here for the defense, lining up in the 4-6. First down at the He drives back to pass, rolls out to his left, throws it all the way back to the right. Incomplete pass. Uh, who is that? Luke Wilson. But you know, in real life, I scored a touchdown on this past two times we played in the Look at the defenders all over the receivers down the field. There was nowhere to throw it. Second down. Second and ten. Coming up to the line of scrimmage, as you can see, I'm containing with my defense at end. Um, he didn't score. Now we're going into the fourth quarter. Four minutes left. I'm trying to close the game out. Down to Stewart. Big run on first down. As you can see, there's not a lot of scoring. We made it all the way from what halftime all the way to the fourth quarter. Still no scoring. Uh, second and one now. Run the read option, and I, I I legit legit thought I pressed X to give it um, to John Stewart. That would have been a first down out of clinch the game. It would have been done data. Instead, it's third and four, and I feel like I have to get this first down. So I go back to a play that's worked for me before. And Andre Ellington gets the oh, first yeah. down. I think I clinched oh, the game. No. All of a sudden, I fumble the ball, and I'm like, no, no. I was down. I, I was swear bad. to God, I was down. I was cussing. I was, <laughs> I was hyped about that play. You said the appropriate word there. Four. I go to challenge it. It's above two minutes, so I'm like, there why can I not challenge, challenge it? Like, that's dick. something. This is a play that can change completely the game because he would be on my 38. He would have a prime opportunity with two minutes and 55 seconds left to score and tie it up or to score and get the two-point conversion. So they overturn the call. They give me the ball back. I'm excited. Well, it hasn't happened yet. I was <laughs> down, bro. Right now, I'm pissed. Uh, I'm like, defense, we got to do something. Uh, there it is. Booth review. They overturned the call. Thank you. And then I still actually do not score, but he gets the ball back. What's missing is uh, he gets the ball back. I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. Um, he gets the ball back. He gets all the way down with seven seconds left. With three seconds left, he throws the ball to Chris Matthews. In the touchdown, but he's not. He gets hit with three seconds left to go. Can't get back up to the line of scrimmage. And I win the ball game 14 7, which puts me at 6 and 2, um, which right now would put me second in the NFC South. Depends on what Joe Rod's going to do if he loses. But this is your boy, Mr. Team on 1993. And I'm out.